BBC Radio 5 live at the World Cup. Brazil against Switzerland in the Rostov Arena is on the way. What another great day of World Cup action we've had. Germany nil, Mexico won in the middle game this afternoon, which means, Chris Sutton, as we've already been discussing, were Brazil to win this group, were Germany to finish runners-up, in the last 16, we get Brazil-Germany. The last time those two met at a World Cup, Germany won 7-1. Yeah, but that won't be what Brazil are thinking about now. It's about the job in hand, isn't it? And for Brazil not to win this game, I think, would be unthinkable. But you know what? It's not impossible. This Swiss team lost only, what, what, 1 in 22? And uh, I think not so long back they drew against Spain. So they'll, I'm not saying they'll fancy the chances, but they'll, they'll dig deep, they'll defend deep. Uh, if they've got an issue, it's a centre-forward. Yeah, Harris Seferovic starts up front for Switzerland. Top scorer in qualifying with four goals. Plays his club football for Benfica, but you and I oh. having lunch this afternoon sat down to a couple of Swiss sat down next to a couple of Swiss fans and when we said we thought it was going to be Seferovic up front I don't think we can quite repeat what he said no um, and he can't get a game for Benfica but, but that's their issue he's going to have to have a big game tonight because Switzerland are going to have to get up the pitch so he's going to be a, a focal point and a target type the other option was Mario uh, Gavranic who scored a lot of goals this season um, at, at Dinamo Zagreb yep. so uh, you know he was the other option a goal scorer but I think the Switzerland manager is thinking we need to get up the pitch right let's just try and put you in our seats if you're listening to us in the car in the kitchen wherever you may be back home we're inside the Rostov arena uh, we are in the southern uh, capital of uh, Russia here in Rostov. Rostov we're 700 miles southeast of Moscow uh, this stadium completed April 2018 not so long ago Rostov uh, play their club football here in the Russian Premier League. Decked out in blue and yellow, really. Sits on the left-hand bank of the River Don. And what I discovered this afternoon, Chris, coming to the game, is actually we're almost right on the border of Europe and Asia. So a lot of people say Russia is in Eurasia. And apparently we're, we could be watching this game this evening in Asia. Well, well, we are. We are, and we'll go to bed in Europe. Yeah, well, it's incredible. I mean, I knew that. You didn't know that. But uh, but but that's the way it is. But it, it's a beautiful stadium, yeah. isn't it? I mean, it really is. It, uh, recently built. And the atmosphere here, it, expectation from the Brazilian fans. Just about ready to go. As you approach this stadium from the outside, the first thing all of us said straight away was it looks like a circus tent, a big top. And that seems very, very apt for the greatest show on earth, and Chris Sutton, I know you're also a big fan mm. of the recent film The Greatest Showman. Yeah. So it, Neymar, yeah. our ringmaster tonight, possibly. Yep, ringmaster. And, and when you think the way that Ronaldo has started the tournament, a scorcher in Sochi, Messi didn't spark in the Spartak Stadium. Yeah. We've got the ringmaster tonight, Neymar. He will want to step up. Big ego that he's got, the great player that he's got. He will want to make his mark tonight. Camera close up on Chi Chi, the Brazilian manager, trying to become the sixth Brazilian man to help his nation lift the biggest one of all, the World Cup. Countdown to kickoff is here. Three, two, one. We are underway. Huge roar goes rippling around the Rostov Stadium. Brazil in the bright canary yellow shirts attacking from left to right in the first half blue shorts white socks up against switzerland ranked sixth in the world no less in the red shirts white numbers on their backs white shorts and red socks manuel akanji their center back gets the ball out wide right to the star man shakiri he looks for a run from seferovic down the inside right channel that is covered by miranda of inter milan he's under pressure from seferovic here has the ball down by the corner flag keeping the ball well eventually goes down it stays in play Shakiri is tackled and the throw in goes Switzerland's way Brazil nil Switzerland were nil as soon as we get another break in play I will just remind you of the two team lineups throw in for Switzerland right hand side and knocking the ball having thrown it backwards across the halfway line Akanji 22 years old moved to Borussia Dortmund in January winning only his eighth cap this evening for Switzerland, what a big, big night for him. Foul conceded by Willian, free kick Switzerland. Yeah, I think in the early stages, Switzerland, it's about staying in the game. Interesting to see their approach, whether they will press Brazil high up the pitch and go direct quite early on. 
as Brazil, who are just sitting off, uh, off at the moment. Interesting story about Manuel Akanji. Oh, yeah. Tattoo on his arm, which says, prove them wrong. They'd like right. to prove Brazil wrong tonight. Very good. From Chris Sutton, five live at the World Cup. Switzerland attacking Brazil. Rodriguez is ball into the penalty area. Jack is desperately going to work hard to try and keep this in. He can't quite do so. And it goes behind for the goal kick. Brazil's lineup then. Alisson in goal. Dani Alves out injured for the tournament. Danilo of Manchester City starts at right back. Marcelo the skipper at left back. Thiago Silva and Miranda the two centre backs. Casemiro in front of them. Paulinho and Felipe Coutinho ahead of him. Willian right. Neymar left. And Gabriel Jesus, 10 goals in 17 appearances for Brazil, starts through the middle. Yet to see any of the ball, Brazil just looking so relaxed, so casual, so comfortable when they arrive. Chris Sutton described it beautifully. Neymar just strutting through the tunnel, singing his heart out with the big headphones clamped to his ears. They came out to warm up 10 minutes after Switzerland, wandered in about five minutes before them. Here's Coutinho on the ball for Brazil. Knocks it out to the left-hand side. Marcelo just rolls it under his studs. Chips it down the line to Coutinho again. Valon Barami gets involved for Switzerland. Takes it off Coutinho. Shakiri nods it infield. Jemaili just shifts it on quickly to Steven Zuber of Hoffenheim. He plays wide to Shakiri. Space just opening up for him here. Ball into the penalty. First time from Jemaili. It's hooked over the bar. First chance goes to Switzerland. Brazil nil, Switzerland nil. Really positive from Shakiri. He's going to have, to have a big World Cup if Switzerland are going to do well. On the right-hand side, 18-yard line. Whips the ball and it just bounced in front, in front of Jemaili. But that's half a chance, that is, for Switzerland. And he just hooks it over Alisson's bar. Good start by the Swiss. As Thiago Silva plays from defence. Willian on the back heel volley flicks it across the halfway line. Barami is there. Ricardo Rodriguez, key man for Switzerland at left back, plays it back to Akanji, who comes all the way back to his goalkeeper, Jan Sommer, who is uh, a man in black this evening, black goalkeeping gloves to match the jersey, shorts and socks, bright white boots on his feet. Marcelo has the ball for Brazil, just inside his own half, up towards Neymar. First we see of him, immediately surrounded by three red shirts, not bothered, shrugs them off, holds onto the ball, still got it, still got it. Baranis behind him, has a nibble, fouls Neymar. I think Neymar is just making a point there. I think he was making a point. He is making a point, but... Switzerland absolutely right the Swiss midfielders they're saying we're not going to give you time on the ball we're not going to let you dictate get your head up and make passes Jan Sommer in goal for Switzerland Stefan Lichsteiner winning his 101st cap tonight at right back now an Arsenal man Ricardo Rodriguez I've mentioned at left back Fabian Schaar alongside a Kanji in central defence Valon Barami and Granit Xhaka another Arsenal man as the midfield two, Shakiri on the right, Zuber on the left, Jamaili, who had the early chance, who plays his club football for Bologna, hooking that one over the bar, and Harris Seferovic of Benfica, the big man up front. Allison, giant figure of a goalkeeper, short sleeves, all in green, slings it out to Danilo, goes quickly upfield here. Jesus jumps for the header, beaten in the air. Rodriguez gets there first for Switzerland, back to Akanji, who's made a very accomplished comfortable confident start for Switzerland at the back five minutes played Brazil nil Switzerland nil in Rostov Serbia top of the group with three points after their one nil win against Costa Rica in the first game today lovely turn from Neymar incredibly cynical pullback from Xhaka advantage is played will he get a yellow card for that here's Willian on the right hand side Danilo outside him Willian dummies across just creeping into the penalty area now drives the ball across the face of goal and it goes fizzing out and behind for the goal kick now then what about Xhaka well I think he's a lucky boy I really do you just can't do that clear tug on Neymar's shirt the referees played advantage he's had words with Xhaka he should have been carded for me should have seen a yellow card it's interesting to hear Tim Vickery our South American football expert mentioned the game in 2009 in the uh, Junior World Cup when Switzerland knocked Brazil out and went on to win the trophy of the Swiss against Nigeria. Granit Xhaka has given an interview uh, which has appeared in the Observer today with his memories of that occasion. Talked about coming up against Neymar. He said his memory was he fell down a lot quite easily. 
So let's see if Neymar's read it, heard about it, got a point to prove this evening. Brazil nil. Do you think he's changed? Ah, well, that's for you to say, Chris, not me. I do the commentary, you do the strong opinions. Chris Sutton with us on five live. Fabian Shah just getting rid of the ball here punching it downfield, headed away by Thiago Silva, Miranda clears on the half volley, Licksteiner throws himself into a diving header, the ball drops inside the Brazilian half, Williams lost it here, Ricardo Rodriguez, hair tied back in a little bum, gets it forward, Seferovic looking for Jamaili, Thiago Silva's got it covered, back to Alisson who clears with his right foot, uh, Gabriel Jesus tries to leap into a header as the ball just bounces above him, causing problems for the Swiss though and he's now won it, from a Candy's header, rolls it infield, Paulinho driving forward into the penalty area, still going, last touch came off him, and it goes behind for a goal kick. Chris yeah, Sutton. Good defending from a Kanji, but that, that attack came from Brazil. Seprovic not holding on to the ball. His job for Switzerland tonight is to link the play. He can't be as sloppy as that. Brazil counted at pace. Good defending from a Kanji, stood up well. Germany nil, Mexico won, just in case you hadn't heard. And Costa Rica nil, Serbia won earlier on today, as I said, England getting into World Cup action tomorrow here in Russia in Volgograd, taking on Tunisia. In fact, this time tomorrow night you'll be listening to it uh, on BBC Radio 5 Live. You can also watch it on BBC Television and, of course, the Red Button service. If you want the 5 Live commentary while watching the pictures is there for you as well. Brazil with some defending to do. It's chipped up the right-hand side to Willian. Clever from Willian, just keeps it in field. Danilo comes running forward, evades a challenge, hits a crisp pass to Coutinho. Coutinho's on the move across the halfway line, just knocks it behind the heels of Neymar, but Marcelo, of course, was already bombing up the left-hand side behind him. He's given it back to Neymar. Neymar's on the dribble, shrugging off Barami. Barami's going to try and stick to him like glue, I reckon. And here's Coutinho again on the ball for Brazil. Short one to Neymar. Jesus comes towards him, looks to flick it back to Neymar. Lichsteiner plays it back to his goalkeeper Jan Sommer who's got time to trap it clears it with his right foot right down the middle of the pitch Miranda wins the header and that just drops and becomes Swiss possession uh, right in the middle of their own half it's Barami on that right hand side of the Swiss midfield so when Neymar does come inside on his right foot as he likes to do off the left it's Barami who is engaging him Kanji has it for Switzerland, but walking pace at the moment. Brazil quite happy to just let them do this inside their own half. Both coaches out in the very apex of their technical areas, as close to the halfway line as they can be, both in smart, dark suits. Danilo just covering a through ball here in the right back position, takes no risks and knocks it out for a Swiss throw on the left. Well, I tell you what, it's been a good start from Switzerland. People who thought this was going to be a foregone conclusion and a non-contest, well, Switzerland have to be brave tonight, don't they? And they've started well. Vladimir Petkovic, by the way, in case you don't know, uh, is the Swiss boss who took over from Otmar Hiltzfeldt after the World Cup of 2014, got them to Euro 2016, uh, where the Swiss made it through their group, got themselves a nil-nil draw against France in the group, went out on penalties to Poland in the last 16, and has qualified them very impressively uh, here for Russia 2018, because going into their final qualifier, they were actually uh, ahead of Portugal in the group, having beaten them in the opening group game, lost in Lisbon 2-0, had to get into the playoffs, and beat Northern Ireland by a goal to nil over the two legs, uh, thanks to a rather controversial penalty uh, at Windsor Park. But they deserved it. Over the two legs yes. they did, yeah, absolutely they did. The penalty shouldn't have been given, uh, but they had uh, the better of the games and the better of the chances. Here's Thiago Silva, again, just at jogging pace at the moment, Coutinho... Plays it to Marcelo, going through the gears now. Marcelo's 1-2 with Neymar, outside of the left foot from Marcelo. Lovely ball, bounces once, Willian brings it under control. Couple of step-overs, low cross into the near post, the Kanji blocks it. Rodriguez clears with his right foot, up towards Seferovic. Thiago Silva read that well, jumped in and won the header. Marcelo, onto Coutinho. Now Neymar, left-hand side of the penalty area, back to Coutinho, loves these on the right foot. Back onto his left though, Neymar's in space, angles tied, a cross goal, falls here for Paulinho, and incredibly, he's bobbled it wide from four yards out, I do not know how he's missed it. Oh, that late run into the box, really well worked, great feet from Neymar, and the left-hand side, little shift past Licksteiner, and then he pulls the ball across the goal, and Paulinho, what, 
He's all of four yards out. He scuffs his shot dreadfully, pulls it past Sommer's left hand post. What a miss! I think in fairness to Sommer, I think he gets a touch on it. Well, wasn't given as a corner, so that wasn't spotted. Sommer's now played well, the ball straight out of play for a Brazilian Having throw. said all of that, he should have buried it. Yeah, he should. Six goals in qualifying for Paulinho, who's a key man for Chichi. Actually scored a hat-trick uh, in a win against Uruguay in qualifying. He should have given Brazil the lead here tonight. Brazil nil, Switzerland nil in Group E. Serbia topping that with three points after their win over Costa Rica. Just to remind you as well, Germany beaten by Mexico. Winners of this group play the runners-up in Germany's group. That could very easily be Brazil-Germany last 16. That is also in England's uh, half of the draw. Here's Marcelo. Takes it from Neymar. I think Brazil just starting to enjoy themselves and just trying to find that little bit of rhythm. Neymar is moving back towards the halfway line. He's chased by Jumaili. He's beaten him not once, not twice. Now he's just oh. waggling his right foot above the ball. Thinks he, about the nutmeg. You said it. Great showman. The British showman indeed. Here's Thiago Silva. Diagonal from right to left. Perfectly placed pass. Well headed away though. Lichsteiner is there. Jumping in is Neymar. Brazil trying to win this back and they do get it. Casemiro gives it to Marcelo. Marcelo to Jesus. Inside the Swiss penalty area. Left hand side. Curling ball to the far post. Willian attacks it. Can't get there and it drifts behind for a goal kick. 13 minutes played in Rostov. Brazil nil. Switzerland nil. Brazil, Brazil just these last few minutes taking control. Jesus on that left hand side of the box just over hitting that cross William couldn't get on the end of it absolutely brilliant save from Jan Sommer you're spot on Chris Sutton scuff shot from Paulinho but had Sommer not got a hand to that that was in the back of the net and such a faint touch they didn't see it and they gave it as a Swiss goal kick but that was a crucial uh, intervention from the Borussia Mönchengladbach man now here's Jesus Busying himself again on the right-hand side. He's taking it off Rodriguez. Rodriguez chases him back. Jesus picks himself up, having lost the ball. Loses it again. Switzerland have it on the left-hand side. Zuba. Ooh, Xhaka taking a risk there. Barami has to come sliding in. Good ball forward to Neymar. 30 yards out. Little trip. Beats Barami. He's fouled. And Brazil get a free kick 30 yards out. That's really good pressing, though, from Brazil. And you always talk about Brazil with the ball. And the Chi-Chi without the ball there. That came from a good press, ball into Neymar and Barami, close attention, but this is an opportunity, what, 30 yards out centrally? Yeah. Maybe just a little bit under 30 yards, Neymar's picked himself up, he seems okay, there's a whole clutch of yellow and red shirts all around the ball at the moment, should remind you as well by the way, we'll be giving you constant updates to the final round of the US Open Golf at Shinnecock Hills this evening. Uh, Justin Rose and Henrik Stenson now out on the course chasing the leaders been a wild and wacky tournament there full commentary on it from 9 o'clock this evening on 5 Live after this game and we'll give you a live update from Shinnecock Hills very shortly uh, from our correspondent Ian Carter but let's deal with the Brazilian free kick first of all and actually Chris it's one of those it's, it's spot on bang central isn't it yep in terms of which way Jan Sommer's going to set up his wall, where he's going to stand, which way Neymar might go. And Marcelo also over the ball, but I think there's only one person going to take this. It's the greatest showman. Neymar staring intently at the ball, slowly builds himself into a run and drags it low into the wall. So he let us down there. Ball bounces harmlessly back in Thiago Silva. Uh, passes sideways to Miranda on the halfway line so next time the ball goes out of play we'll be on our way uh, to Shinnecock Hills for the latest on the final round of the US Open golf leaders uh, final group will be out shortly Switzerland have a throw in why don't we do it now so come in Ian Carter Justin Rose through the first hole had a putt of around 25 feet for a birdie left it just short so a par four for Rose four over par one shot off the lead Tommy Fleetwood has got it to six over par so he's just three behind as he plays the 11th thank you Ian uh, I recommend you tune in to the commentary this evening after this game that will be a great listen and the cut podcast as well with you every morning uh, after the uh, the day's play are we going to have another US Open win possibly for 
uh, Justin Rose having won his first one uh, at Merion in 2013. Brazil nil, Switzerland nil. Clever from Neymar. Releases Coutinho quickly on to Gabriel Jesus. Jesus with the ball across goal. Too close to Sommer who dives down and grabs it. Oh, lovely from Neymar. Took the ball in. Beautiful touch which released Coutinho. Took three or four Swiss midfielders out of the game. Good work from the goalkeeper again. Down smartly, anticipating the cross. It's Chris Sutton with us on BBC Radio 5 Live here in Rostov at the Rostov Arena. Brazil nil, Switzerland nil. Sommer under pressure from Neymar, closes him down quickly. Once again, again, that high press, Ali. Sommer had to concede the throw. Brazil have taken that quickly. Marcelo plays it back here to Miranda. Miranda across his own half finds Thiago Silva Switzerland stand off at the moment and then as Danilo gets on the ball inside the Swiss half Switzerland close in Barami's won it Willian goes down Casemiro steps in and wins it for Brazil and it goes out for the Swiss throw by the way talking podcast World Cup daily podcast will be available again for you uh, tomorrow morning Gareth Southgate will feature ahead of the England game uh, tomorrow night, 7 o'clock, kick-off UK time, full commentary on BBC Radio 5 Live, Tunisia, England, uh, from Volgograd. And those podcasts, absolutely perfect for your Monday morning commute. The, uh, the Cup from the Gulf, the World Cup Daily Podcast, and a little bit of live radio as well. World Cup breakfast, of course, coming here from Moscow, and Robbie Savage taking things from half past eight until nine o'clock with Frank Lampard uh, due to appear on the show uh, tomorrow morning. Big day for England tomorrow. Brazil nil, Switzerland nil here in Rostov. Swiss are playing well. Uh, Zubas found Shakiri. Shakiri's come looking for work actually because having started on the right, he's come all the way over to the left. Who's cheers and whistles at the moment? Because Switzerland is holding yeah, on to the I ball. I think they're doing the right thing. We had that little period of Brazil pressure. Switzerland was just given it away there. Just trying to take the sting out of the game, make some passes. By the way, if you're missing your guide to Russia 2018 from Chris Sutton, who gave us so much information on St. Petersburg, when there's the odd break or two in play here, we'll, um, we'll get a little bit from him uh, on Rostov, because he's not done too badly on that front over, over the last couple of days. It's Rostov on Don. It's, and there we go, Rostov on Don indeed. We're on the banks of the mighty river Don, which is the fifth longest river in Europe. But you didn't know that one over a thousand miles long Coutinho to Neymar Neymar suddenly accelerates into the Swiss penalty area cross to Marcelo Marcelo drills the cross in headed away shot whipped in oh, oh fabulous strike from Coutinho we've seen him do that so many times before and that is a wonder goal for Brazil magic stuff from Coutinho onto that right foot 25 yards out and as soon as it left his right boot you knew it was heading for the top corner Brazil 1, Switzerland 0 that's what Brazil are all about wow, Brazil announced themselves at the World Cup and this is absolutely stunning it really is from Coutinho it's a poor header out of the box he must be 23, 24 yards out left hand side of the box and he starts the ball right footed it starts outside the left hand post of Sommer and bends in no chance for the goalkeeper that is world class magnificent goal from Felipe Coutinho playing in his first World Cup we're watching the replays of the celebration right now as he leaps in the air swings his fist in delight and roars in exultation what a moment for Felipe Coutinho he's so dangerous Chris getting onto that right foot from there isn't he well and good decision to start him there that dilemma should I play Fernandino or Coutinho Guile over graft, and that's why Coutinho started tonight. Brazil won Switzerland nil. So how is Switzerland going to respond to that? They're coming forward with Xhaka. Xhaka across to Lichsteiner, who picks up pace. Gets it back from Shakiri on the right-hand side. Cross is slightly deflected. Jamali attacks it. Zuba gets onto the loose ball just outside the Brazilian penalty area. Xhaka's pass is intercepted. Brazil going to be very dangerous on the counter now. Lovely bit of skill from Willian. Sprinting away across the halfway line. Plays the ball wide to Danilo. Danilo has Neymar to aim at. Good block in the end by Kanji. And the ball is out for a Brazilian throw on the right. Yeah, I think for Switzerland now, just stay in the game for 10 minutes. Do not concede again. 
Willian. Danilo back to Willian. Brazil really in the mood now. Paulinho finds Danilo again. Just hold still for a second. Willian tries to flick it to Neymar. That one's intercepted. Ricardo Rodriguez, the left back for Switzerland, gives it to Akanji. And Switzerland just take a bit of time on the ball, try and compose themselves. Find themselves 1 0 down against the mighty Brazil. They need to get up the pitch, I said before the game. That's going to be their issue, Switzerland, when the game settled down. And that means Seferovic, the centre forward, has to show and is not making himself a focal point, is not doing enough. Xhaka plays the ball into midfield. Fabian Schaar is able to bring this a long way forward into the Brazil half. He doesn't want to get caught out here. He appeals for handball there as it was intercepted. Now Neymar. Oh, a Kanji. Good, strong challenge on the halfway line. Knocks Neymar to the floor. Wins the ball cleanly. Seferovic trying to hold it up. Scoops it away to his right. Shakiri come towards him. He wasn't there. And the ball is out for a throw. I'm going to hit you with some Brazil facts, Chris, which will not make pretty listening for Switzerland fans. They've not lost a group game since France 98 when they were beaten 2-1 by Norway they finished top of their World Cup group every time since 1982 they've won 16 of their last 18 opening World Cup games and drawn the other two they've not lost a World Cup opener since 1934 well I'll counter that with Switzerland haven't lost a World Cup opening game in their last four tournaments so there is hope there is hope there is always hope <laughs> midway through the first half Brazil 1, Switzerland 0, and we've been treated to an absolute cracker from Felipe Coutinho. Now here's Neymar trying to lay it off to Paulinho. Paulinho's lost out. Zuba just pokes it forward to Seferovic. Good first touch from Seferovic. All these Swiss players pretty much in the white boots, which goes very nicely with the red kit with the white trim. Valon Barami in the centre circle, jogging forward slowly. Rolls it across to Akanji. Akanji finds Zuba. Everyone bar Neymar behind the ball for Brazil. Xhaka floats a delicious pass away to the right-hand side where Licksteiner controls it, gives it to Shakiri, looking for Licksteiner again. Well read there, though, by Casemiro. shakiri has got it back. Couple of tricks from him. Good ball to Licksteiner on the right. Tries to just nick it through the legs of Miranda. Miranda got enough on it, and now... Marcelo down the left-hand side. Nice, open, fluid game here in Rostov. Jesus back to our goal scorer, Coutinho. Coutinho back to the edge of the Brazilian penalty area. Thiago Silva now with Paulinho. Back to Danilo. Danilo towards Willian. Rodriguez tries to stick with him. Looks for the one-two with Paulinho. Barami breaks that up for Switzerland Steven Zuba gets a bit lucky there and he's got a bit of space on the left plays it into Seferovic Seferovic looking for Jamaili Jamaili goes down he was sliding down anyway and Switzerland win their first corner of the game yeah I thought Seferovic had just overhit that pass into Jamaili corner given which Ricardo Rodriguez will take he's the left footer this will swing away from goal one, two, three, four, five red Swiss shirts in a little... Yeah, they've gone zonal, haven't they? Yeah. A couple of markers. Near post space, three defenders along that six-yard line for Brazil. 25 minutes play. Brazil leading Switzerland 1-0. Defending to do that. Rodriguez, left-footed ball into the penalty area. Good header away, and Thiago Silva is hurt. Clash of heads. Uh, Thiago Silva goes down, and it was Fabian Schaar. Uh, his opposite number as you were the two centre backs challenging for the ball at the near post and both uh, need treatment uh, aggression from Thiago Silva well in fact it's Casemiro who takes a whack on the head and Char does as well so the referee has to stop the game does the right thing head injury Let's feel as an opportunity set pieces Switzerland got to get them right got to get that delivery right 20 minutes remaining in the first half then. Fabian Schaar is on his feet and he waits there very courteously to pull Casemiro to his feet. So both players are going to be OK. Brazil 1, Switzerland 0. It's interesting this debate about Brazil, how they have to react after their last World Cup game against Germany. Thiago Silva 
so that it's no longer in our heads. And what I would say, I think there's only two members, two members of this current team who actually played in that German game. So I don't think they're going to be too scarred by that, other yeah. than the burden and expectation of playing for Brazil, which there is at every tournament. Yeah, well, we talked about sort of banishing the ghosts and the last time we saw them in World Cup action. And then, of course, they played the third place playoff game against Holland, which they lost 3-0. But everyone really thinks about the, uh, the humiliation in the Maracanã in the semi-final against Germany, but, but no signs of a, uh, a hangover from that uh, tonight so far. They have clicked into gear very nicely. They lead Switzerland 1-0 and Granit Xhaka has slightly miscued a scoop pass out to the left-hand side and the ball has gone out for a Brazilian throw. Um, can't remember every single goal that's gone in so far, Chris Sutton, but Coutinho, goal of the tournament so far, must be a contender. Oh. The Ronaldo free kick was pretty wonderful. Yeah, uh, yeah I think Ronaldo's just the occasion having said that I mean th it was special tonight yeah such a wonderful talent that we've seen him do it so many times haven't we come inside on that right foot he is deadly good work from Shakiri in the centre circle we've got a Mexican wave rippling its way around the Rostov at the arena at the moment as Rodriguez plays it down the left hand side to Zuba Zuba back to Rodriguez again picks his head up swings a high deep cross to the back post Licksteiner attacks it header goes straight up in the air and Marcelo volleys the ball away uh, for a Swiss throw Marcelo stays down caught by Licksteiner I think he's going to be okay picks himself up to his feet the referee says just hold on our referee this evening is Cesar Ramos uh, from Mexico and Marcelo goes down again here and he's just doing the bootlaces up and the referee is going to let him wait going to see what Switzerland can do with this throw in an attacking position before we get back to Shinnecock Hills get the latest on the US Open golf final round uh, Licksteiner goes flying over the I think he's throwing himself down yeah. there went over the back of Neymar's legs but he knew he wasn't going to get to that ball he was trying to win the free kick and Neymar's just taking it all the way up the left he's overrun it and that will go out for a throw into Switzerland which Barami takes quickly Xhaka volleys it sideways Xhaka gets it back just inside his own half and Barami plays back uh, to Fabian Schar across to Manuel Akanji just over 15 minutes to play here in the first half in Rostov Brazil 1 Switzerland 0 Barami takes his time. They're so well organised, Brazil. Out of possession. They're more of a 4-1, 4-1. But when someone goes, that's the trigger movement. And then they all go in. I think that's been the difference under Chiche. Good in possession. Lethal out of possession as well. Switzerland, in the meantime, just knocking the ball around inside their own half. Akanji now is going to bring this forward across the halfway line. A Brazil is saying, come on then, come on to a Xhaka, floating it down the line. Willian heads it away uh, for another Swiss throw. Ricardo Rodriguez wants this ball uh, quickly. Rodriguez left-hand side. Who's making the run for him there? Jamaili comes short. Jamaili on the turn. Plays the ball back to Zuba. Zuba tries to beat Willian. Danilo clears to his left-hand side. Brazil now attacking right through the middle. Barami slipped and he's caught Paulinho. Referee gives a free kick to Brazil. Let's head to Shinnecock Hills, Ian Carter. We now have a five-way tie for the lead because the Masters champion Patrick Reed has birdied the first three holes. So he joins the four overnight leaders. Good par save at the second for Justin Rose. He remains one behind. And now Tommy Fleetwood and Matt Fitzpatrick have managed to get to within two shots of the lead. Thank you, Ian. Commentary will be taken up after this game on Five Live from 9 o'clock this evening all the way uh, through to the finish. Brazil fans roaring their team on. Marcelo's ball forward is intercepted by Fabian Schaar. Well read by Casemiro. Pokes it down the line to Neymar. Neymar's got a bit of space. Beats Barami on the inside. Neymar's court goes down and wins the free kick. And that's a long, shrill blast on the whistle. And the yellow card uh, is shown to Stefan Lichsteiner the Swiss captain. Neymar's going to need treatment. I like this one from Juliet Ferrington, by the way. Chris Sutton. Coutinho joins this club. Brazil's opening goal in the last five World Cup tournaments, 2002 Ronaldo, 2006 Kaka, 
2010 Micon, 2014 Neymar, 2018 Coutinho. That's quite a useful fighter side outfit. Good club, good club to be in. 14 minutes to play in the first half. This is Coutinho range as well, by the way. It's not too far away from where he, he struck the opening goal. Because the free kick's out to the left-hand side. Jan Sommer's leaning against his right-hand post. Neymar doesn't let anybody else take free kicks by the looks of it. If you were in the Argentine dressing room, by the way, would you have a word with Messi on pens? Um, would I have a word with Messi on pens? Well, I'm taller than him. Yeah. I'm bigger than him. Yeah. Probably not. <laughs> free kick Brazil. They lead 1-0. Marcelo curls it in towards the near post. Seferovic is there, nods it behind for a Brazilian corner. So, a uh, little bit of guile there from Brazil. Sommer was expecting the shot possibly from Neymar. Marcelo took it quickly. Seferovic alert at the near post. And now corner Brazil from the left-hand side. Neymar gets ready to take. Another ball's just been thrown out of the stands here. Behind that goal away to our right-hand side. So that's just wonder whether he might try and find William here. Neymar whips that in, in swinger, headed back right across goal there, it's going to come all the way back to Neymar, right down on the byline, but he was standing in an offside position, and Jesus' header, had he been able to direct that on target, might have found the back of the net, he looks slightly aghast, Switzerland get the free kick. Yeah, he's whipped in, the far post, Jesus, uh, that's half a chance it is, it's it back across goal. Jan Sommer. Swiss keeper clears upfield. Well done, Jordan Shakiri. Chest the ball down, lays it off. Lichsteiner now on the yellow card. I tell you what, that is a worry. Lichsteiner at right back with Neymar coming at you and Marcelo down that left hand side. On the yellow card. Made his debut against Brazil, Stefan Lichsteiner, 12 years ago, November 2006. And here he is tonight on the greatest stage. But Switzerland with work to do. Trailing 1 0. Xhaka up to Seferovic, good work from the big centre forward, holds it up and lays it off, Shakiri on his left foot, gives it to Xhaka, not the kindest pass back, Shakiri did well, floats it into the area, Miranda read it, nods it down, here's Marcelo, left footed ball, down the line to Neymar, good pace taking on Barami, Barami does well to stick with him and win the ball. Yeah, he's done well in those duels, Barami against Neymar, and close attention. Fourth World Cup for Valon Barami, grand old age of 33. And sticking with the most expensive player in the world there, Neymar, trying to burn him off down the left-hand side. And Brazil have the ball again inside their own half and very casually just bring it forward. Paulinho this time comes short, takes it off Miranda. Miranda floats it out towards Marcelo, miscues the volley pass towards Neymar and it's out for a Swiss throw on the right. Taken quickly. Finds Xhaka. Now with Manuel Akanji. This is the problem coming up against this Brazilian team. Fabulous going forward. So good at the back as well. Licksteiner on the right-hand side. Cross into the area. Casemiro in perfect position to volley it away. Nodded forward by Barami. Flicked on by Seferovic. Jamaili can't get there. So it's cleared away by Thiago Silva. Fabian Shah heads it high in the air. Seferovic brings it down well again. Gives it to Shakiri. Tries to buy a free kick by knocking it way past Marcelo and going to the floor. Referee's not buying it. Switzerland have it on the right-hand side. Barami almost overruns that, but with a desperate lunge, keeps the ball. And Switzerland have it again. Ten minutes left in the first half. BBC Radio 5 Live at the World Cup. England's first game on its way in full. Tomorrow night from Volgograd. Tunisia... Uh, against England. By the way, if England win their group, they could be coming here to play in the Rostov Arena. Five games in total, this stadium has the last of them, the winners of England's group uh, against the runners-up uh, in Group H. Tunisia, England tomorrow. Uh, do not miss it. Also on BBC television, as is Belgium, Panama, actually, the other game in the group, which kicks off four o'clock UK time. Brazil quite happy to let Switzerland have it at the moment. Leading through... Coutinho's goal, Ricardo Rodriguez crosses over hit, Miranda gets his head on it, the ball bounces just inside the Brazil penalty area, Thiago Silva did well, holds off Seferovic, clears up to the halfway line, here's Chris Sutton. It's better from Switzerland isn't it in terms of possession but they really lack punch, I think Alisson's had, a, had the no. save to make. 
It was always going to be the question, wasn't it, Chris, coming into the game? I and mean, Shakiri often does it for them. Yep. Either create something or, or whips one in like Coutinho does, but other than that... And, you know, I don't want to get carried away with Brazil. They're winning 1-0. It's the first game of the tournament, but you just feel that they have that steeliness at the back. They're better defensively than the Chiche. Brazil on the ball again. Nice warm breeze just blowing around the Rostov Arena at the moment. High temperatures this afternoon. But lovely temperatures to play in now. Here's Danilo on the right-hand side. Spotted a bit of space, bursts into it, looking for Jesus. Little first touch, ball bobbles up and Jesus can't control it. Kanji is there again for Switzerland. Clears down the left-hand side, but Casemiro reads the play so well, the Real Madrid man just stepped in. Exactly the right position, lays it off to Willian. And Brazil have the ball back again. And it's with Coutinho. Coutinho in his white boots. Curls the pass nonchalantly onto the left boot of Marcelo. Marcelo flicks it in towards Neymar. Just a little too casual there. Lichsteiner with a chance to clear. Down that right-hand side towards Jamali. It's missed there. And Jamali is away down the right. Only Seferovic with him. Seferovic has it and a chance to lay off to Shakiri. He couldn't control it. And it's back with Allison and Brazil can clear. And that was an opportunity. Good break. Jamali, he pops the ball in to Seferovic on the edge of the box and Shakiri in acres of space he just had to hold on to it gave the ball away and the attack fizzled out Costa Rica nil, Serbia won earlier on today and Mexico's fabulous win against Germany the defending champions beaten in their opening group game at a World Cup for only the second time ever the other time was 1982 against Algeria and that year they went on to reach the final but they lost it to Italy. Switzerland, of course, 2010 World Cup produced a result like that, beat Spain in their opening group game, and incredibly didn't manage to get out of the group after that. Tonight, they are trailing, though, against Brazil. Fabian Schaar swings it out to Rodriguez, takes it on his chest, drags the ball back, right-footed cross towards Seferovic. Headed away here. Neymar tries to bring it down. Shakiri nips in and takes it off him. Lichsteiner looking for Shakiri again. Marcelo gets in the way. Marcelo is not tripped. Play continues. And it's a chance here for Brazil to clear, which they do. And the ball goes out for a Swiss A throw. little bit of an issue now, Brazil, in terms of Neymar isn't tracking back on that left-hand side. So there's a pocket there now for Shakiri just to come off into and become an outlet for the Swiss. Switzerland have it again. We've got six minutes left in the first half here. Final round of the US Open golf full commentary on the way after Brazil Switzerland finishes this evening. Blerim Jamaili just trying to dance his way between two defenders now then. Zuba with the shots completely got that wrong. Absolutely wallops it into the face of Thiago Silva who's gone down flat on his back. And he's going to need some treatment. Brazil won, Switzerland nil. The ball poked into Zuba just inside the box on the left-hand side or 16 yards out. Had a bit more time than he actually thought. And he slices a shot wildly into Thiago Silva's face. Thiago Silva's picked himself up. Doesn't actually need treatment. Switzerland take the throw and they will give the ball back to Brazil. With five minutes remaining in this first half. Applause from the uh, Brazilian fans who I, I think are, are enjoying their evening. It's not a tub-thumping game. They're not playing at full tilt. They've seen that absolutely wonderful goal from Coutinho. I think they really started the game with intensity, Brazil. But now they've got that opening goal. Just dropped the pace a yeah. little bit. But it's, it's the Swiss, really. Who... Yeah. Well, they have to come up with answers. Now, Neymar's lost it to Barami. Barami's having a good game here up against Neymar. Neymar stayed down. It'll be of slight concern to Brazil. Zuba continues to bring the ball forward. That is never going to work. He's knocked it straight into the legs of Casemiro. Doesn't have too many options forward because Neymar was down. He's picked himself up and he's just getting himself back up to speed here. Just hobbling slightly. Let's not forget, of course, he had three months out. End of February. Broke that metatarsal bone in his right foot. Can you just wonder about his fitness levels yeah. in terms couple of friendlies maybe not the intensity there in friendly games so I think you know he needs game time needs to get minutes 
in serious games under his belt. Two goals in the warm-up games on his return. One at Anfield in the, in the 2-0 win against Croatia. Another one in Vienna in the 3-0 win uh, against Austria. Coutinho, who scored the wonder goal tonight, gets Brazil on the move again. This looks dangerous. Paulinho through the middle. Gabriel Jesus with space between the defenders into the penalty area. Kanji how, does well again. How good has he been tonight? Pace and power and composure for such a young man. Possession stats, by the way, pretty even, Chris, in the game so far. 50-50? Well... 51.1, 48.9. Yes, so pedantic, aren't you? <laughs> that's pretty even. It's pretty even. Yeah, it's pretty even, and that and that's how it's felt. But in terms of possessing a threat, Brazil yeah. look a lot more dangerous. And, and when you think about that Paulinho opportunity, great save it was. Yes, Soma, yes. he should have scored that. But it's Brazil who look the more potent. First chance of the game early on went to Switzerland. That was Jamaili. Seferovic has found himself in a good position to play in Shakiri, and he wasn't able to do that. Those have been the sort of windows of opportunity. Ah, now Akanji there, less good on the ball. That's the worst pass I've seen at this World Cup. He's absolutely clubbed the left-footed ball from the halfway line and smashed it out for a goal kick. Yeah, and there, actually, Barami just drops in to make it a three at the back when they're in possession. Rodriguez high up on the left-hand side. Lichtensteiner high up on the right hand side has created anything of note though Brazil giving the ball away here inside their own half Shakiri's on it, bit of pace past Miranda gets that cross back towards the penalty spot Brazil managed to clear their lines Barami stretches as Neymar closes in Jesus couldn't get there and the ball comes all the way back from Fabian Schaar to his goalkeeper Jan Sommer two minutes remaining in the first half uh, in Rostov on Don to give it its full title Xhaka well that's a good ball in towards Shakiri who lets it run beyond him and it bounces away and goes out for a goal kick and he's annoyed he smashes the ball away behind the goal it, it could have tried to take that down though Chris well I, I mean to be fair to Shakiri, I think <laughs> if Lost. he could have taken it down he would have taken it down <laughs> am I asking too much <laughs> I think so just a little bit just over a minute to play. Brazil 1, Switzerland 0. Fabulous goal from Felipe Coutinho. Switzerland have it inside the Brazil half. Maybe a last attacking chance for them. Shakiri to Lichsteiner. Takes on Marcelo. Gets that cross in. Over hit. Seferovic attacking the near post. Can't get on the end of it. No, he can't. And, and it wasn't a good cross. But he doesn't move Seferovic. He's shown very, very little. I, I just wonder... And whether there'll be a change even at half time because they have been toothless up top they have to offer more of a threat Switzerland Danilo right footed ball on the half volley up towards Gabriel Jesus bundled to the ground the ball goes out of play for a Brazilian throw on the right hand side and they're just going to slow things down they're aware that half time is approaching they are well on top uh, and when you do get a chance to see that Felipe Coutinho goal then do uh, enjoy you certainly will and it's you can already picture it because he scored so many like it uh, left hand side sort of attacking the penalty area gets it onto that right foot and started the curling shot so far outside the post but lovely zip and spin on it clipped the inside of the post and ended up in the back of the net and we're into added time at the end of the first half fourth official just moving forward uh, in his light blue jersey, no need for VAR so far in this game this evening. Two minutes of added time to be played. Brazil have it with Willian. Willian, good vision. Floats it out to Marcelo on the left-hand side. Marcelo to Paulinho. Paulinho has Coutinho behind him again. Just a little bit far out this time for a shot. Back to Casimiro. Wide again to the left-hand side. Coutinho. Now Marcelo. Lichsteiner stands there with his hands behind his back. Marcelo goes on the outside. Lichsteiner got the block in Brazil, get a late corner. Good defending. I don't know why people call Marcelo a left back. He's a left winger, isn't he? Plays so high up on that left hand side. Neymar's coming over to take the corner for Brazil. One minute of added time remaining at the end of the first half here on BBC Radio 5 Live. 
Can Brazil snatch themselves a second goal? Neymar, right-footed corner. Oh, and headed over the bar at the near post by Thiago Silva, who falls on the ground in agony because he knows how close he was well, to getting the second. His reaction tells you everything you need to know. Whipped in, right-footed from Neymar, Thiago Silva times his run perfectly. Sommer isn't getting it, it goes agonisingly over the bar. Flicked header, Silva goes to his knees. 30 seconds to play here then, Jan Sommer clears with a big hoof down the middle of the field. Battle between Casemiro and Seferovic. Seferovic and Coutinho go shoulder to shoulder, Coutinho is penalised. So, last chance for Switzerland here to get a ball in the Brazil penalty area. Free kick midway inside the Brazilian half. Last time these two teams played each other, Switzerland did win. That was a friendly though, this is the World Cup. This would be good timing, wouldn't it, for oh, Switzerland? Yeah. And Ricardo Rodriguez, who's the set-piece specialist, free kicks, penalties, corners, just digs the toe of his boot into the turf and gets ready to flip this forward. Curls it towards the far post, headed back across goal. Allison will come, jump high, grab it cleanly, and I think that will be the last of the action uh, we will see in the first half. Holds onto it for a couple of seconds, and the referee blows the half-time whistle. So Brazil are back, they're back with a bang, and mainly thanks to Felipe Coutinho. Wonderful right foot curler to give them the lead at half-time in Rostov. And that's the real talking point of the first half, Chris Sutton, a truly sensational goal. Well, a world-class goal from a world-class player, and, and what a way for Brazil to open up their, their World Cup. Fantastic finish, 25 yards out. We've seen Coutinho do it so many times. Brazil deservedly ahead at the break. Switzerland, they've got to offer more going forward. Germany, the world champions, undone on the opening day, beaten 1 0 by Mexico, but Brazil in control at half time here. They lead Switzerland 1 0. Thank you, Kelly. Yes, the cart horse and the thoroughbred of this Five Live team, Chris the Thoroughbred. I mean oh, the cart horse. Come on, what? don't be like that. No, it's all right. I can take it. Harris Seferovic has been called a cart horse by Chris Sutton, the big Swiss striker. He was the fella actually who in the uh, the second leg of the playoff game for Russia 2018, when he missed a couple of chances in the nil-nil draw against Northern Ireland, and things were a little bit tight and tense. Was actually getting booed by his own fans. Switzerland have some early possession here in the second half. Right-footed shot though from Jumaili uh, is sliced well wide. Uh, and behind uh, for the Brazilian goal kick. Before I forget to do it, and I've no idea if he'll be listening or not, but I have to give a shout out and a hello to Anthony Joshua in this evening's commentary. And the reason for that is there was a pool attendant, there's a swimming pool just by our hotel in Rostov called Gennady, who actually, I'm not sure whether he was a professional boxer or not, but he looked like he could have been quite useful. Uh, with his fist and he said please say hello to Anthony Joshua for me and so I thought I'd better do it I've done it uh, here's Coutinho trying to play a little wall pass with Willian it came back to Coutinho he side footed a ball uh, out to Neymar Neymar's just waiting you only said hello because you were scared of him absolutely right well I'm hoping to go for another swim tomorrow Chris before we fly <laughs> off so he's going to ask me he's going to ask me whether I did or not and who knows he might even be listening to himself Gennady so You've got to be careful. Brazil 1, Switzerland 0. Give you the team lineups in a second. Run. Yeah, that's Casemiro. He lunged, didn't he? And he's picked up a yellow card early in the second half. Uh, he knew immediately. Strong challenge. Went to ground. Mistimed. And takes Jamali out. And Ramos, the referee. Quite right to bring the yellow card out. Brazil leading Switzerland 1-0 and there just to help the, uh, the fans inside the stadium we've got a giant picture of a yellow card up Chris but no name yep. but uh, hopefully everyone will know that it's Casemiro uh, Brazilian team then Alisson in goal started 16 out of the 18 qualifiers the Roma goalkeeper don't forget they've got Edison of Manchester City on the bench just to exemplify the squad strength of Brazil Danilo at right back Marcelo the skipper at left back Thiago Silva and Miranda, the two centre-backs. Casemiro now on the yellow in front of them. Uh, Paulinho, Coutinho ahead of him. Willian right, Neymar left, and Gabriel Jesus through the middle. Switzerland have Jan Sommer in goal, made a wonderful save. 
very early in the game from Paulinho to prevent Switzerland going down 1-0 at that point. Lichstein at the right back, the skipper's on a yellow card. Rodriguez is their left back. Fabian Schaar and 22-year-old Manuela Kanji, who's been a, a really good performer for them so far this evening in central defence. He might have some more defending to do now here because Neymar is threatening, bringing it forward, drags the ball from right to left, gives it to Coutinho, lays it off to Paulinho, Gabriel Jesus goes sniping, Jan Sommer's out, he grabs it, Birami and Xhaka in front of the Swiss back four, Shakiri, Jamaili and Steven Zuber of Hoffenheim in support of Harris Seferovic uh, through the middle. And the chap you mentioned actually, Chris, I wonder whether we'll get to see him, Mario Gavranovic, who scored 24 goals in Croatia's top division last season very different striker to Seferovic but Switzerland might need to offer something different in the second half if they're going to try and get back into this game Zuba just outside the Brazilian penalty area Zuba's going to get this back here's Seferovic ooh trying to find Zuba again well read by Marcelo Marcelo's lost it on the edge of the box Scrappy from Brazil Lichstein is cross blocked on the edge of the area by Marcelo and it's out for a Swiss yeah, throw on the right hand side he did really well Marcelo to read that situation because Zuba would have been in Free shot at goal from 12 yards. Good defending from Marcelo. Shakiri's won a corner. Matching the Brazilians for skill there. Had the ball at his feet and just gave it a little flick. Right foot behind left onto the shins of Miranda to win a corner for Switzerland. Four minutes gone in the second half. Our producer Juliet's counting out a whole watch of Russian rubles there. I don't know what that could be. Dinner later on on Juliet, hopefully. Four minutes gone, second half. Shakiri takes the corner, curls it in, free header. And it is 1-1. Steven Zuba from four yards out, totally unmarked, has levelled against Brazil. The inquest starts in the Brazilian defence. Simple as you like, Brazil 1, Switzerland 1. Perfect timing from the Swiss. Good ball in, whipped in, left-footed. And Zuba just standing all alone. Middle of the six-yard box has a free header. I just wonder, they've gone zonal. Should Allison come for that? It's four yards from goal. I just wonder, that ball's travelled a long way. Zonal marking, nobody takes responsibility in that situation. 1-1. Just hang on, the Swiss team has celebrated the goal, they're coming back to the halfway line, Miranda is complaining that he was given a shove in the yeah. back by Steven Zuber. Now every incident like that leading to a goal will be checked by the video assistant referee, but the referee absolutely satisfied with what's going on it would be up to the VAR to say to the referee on the pitch I think you might want to have a look at it not done that it's a goal it's 1-1 Brazil Switzerland good decision the right decision there was arms in the back of Miranda enough contact to warrant a foul absolutely not you'd be giving 20-30 fouls a game good refereeing right decision and the Swiss they're back in this right that livens up the second half because after Brazil got the goal in the first half you felt just a little bit flat in terms of atmosphere and bite in the game but suddenly it's back on it's 1-1 Swiss quite fancy it they've won the ball on the halfway line they're coming again Jamaili gives it to Shakiri, sliding in uh, on him is Casemiro he claims Brazil should have the throw he doesn't get it and so Shakiri will get it uh, for Switzerland <laughs> What a start to the second half. Brilliant. And you wonder, you know, words at half-time, Vladimir Petkovic probably had strong words. We need more. You're still in this game, guys. What a response. Steven Zuba of Hoffenheim, his fourth goal for his country. And it's a big one because he, forever and a day now, will be able to say, I scored against Brazil uh, at the World Cup. Brazil 1, Switzerland 1. Germany beaten earlier on today, in case you hadn't heard. Beaten by Mexico 1-0. Winners of Brazil's group. Play the runners-up in Germany's group. Serbia top of this group at the moment on three points, having beaten Costa Rica 1-0 earlier on today. Shakiri was so clever there, he actually fooled Lichsteiner. It was clever because well, Lichsteiner... Go on. It, no. it, it wasn't clever. It was stupid, really, wasn't it? Because he could have just laid a ball in to Lichsteiner to whip across in and he tried to be too too clever too fancy when does clever become stupid there's a well, question well when for you, you give the ball away 
Chris when Sutton it, when it goes out for a goal kick to the opposition <laughs> on five live <laughs> here at the World Cup it's a bit like the question when does a shrimp become a prawn <laughs> <laughs> which yeah. was what, the uh, what idiot yeah I'm afraid would say that I know someone who will remain nameless who might actually be talking right now that was the depth of our conversation over lunch today there was a worse comment yeah I think I was actually misunderstood we're not going to get into it now but Chris was very amused by when <laughs> when does a shrimp become a prawn <laughs> anyway Brazil won Switzerland won and Gabriel Jesus is just trying to flick one through here to Neymar uh, and Jesus can't keep the ball in on the left hand side it's out for a Switzerland throw one tweet's come in here to uh, to Five Live 25 yard screamers completely abject defending nice to see Brazil playing all their hits on the opening night at World Cup 2018. Switzerland has a worry. Man down. Barami and, Barami. and also the Sharp, the centre half. He's struggling. He's holding the back of his left leg. Right. He, he's not motioning to the bench, but he's not moving well. But Barami, who's actually been very good in those 1v1 situations. I think he just overstretches yeah, while yeah. trying to win the ball back against Jesus. But that would be a blow for the Swiss. He's holding his left knee. Just waiting for play to get back underway and just to slightly defend myself on the shrimp's prawn thing. The conversation started as in what is the difference between a shrimp and a prawn. We then discussed whether it might be size and the point I was making was in terms of size, if that is it, you know, at what point. But... Chris misunderstood me and uh, <laughs> has ripped me ever since. Steven Zuba, the goal scorer, comes steaming forward for Switzerland, runs straight into Miranda. Brazil won, Switzerland won. 35 minutes to play in the second half. Barami's not back on the field at the moment. Coutinho goes skipping past Jamile. He's brought down and Brazil get a free kick. Yeah, well, I wonder whether a card's going to come out to Jamile. Silly. Really silly. Coutinho, good feet, goes past him thought a card may have come out for that but then Jamali reacts slows yeah. the play down 10 minutes gone in the second half 1-1 Neymar on the ball a little bit of skill to beat Jamali Barami's not having it comes flying in and knocks the ball away it's with Casemiro Casemiro up towards Jesus Jesus had options just lays it off to his right hand side Walked forward by Danilo onto Neymar. Neymar tries to curl a pass back towards Danilo, who was on the sprint into the penalty area, intercepted and all the way back with Allison. Brazil's goalkeeper, short pass from him to Miranda. Miranda towards Coutinho. Outside of the right foot ball, intercepted by Shakiri. So Brazil have lost it inside their own half. Coutinho wants to make amends, comes in quickly, knocks the ball out, Swiss throw on the right. Credit to the Swiss, but Brazil, they're just a little bit disjointed. They've got to pull themselves together now and find a way to get in front in this game again. Lichsteiner's throw down the line. Marcelo sticks a leg out, intercepts, and the ball's out for a throw. Brazil need to lift their tempo again. 1-1. Shakiri's cross in, easy for Allison, grabs it with both hands, bowls it out underarm straight away. And Danilo is on the charge. Infield to Willian. Willian, whose feet seem to move in very short strides, but so quick, so fast over the ground. Makes a little run forward, pulls back with Casemiro in central midfield. Brazil won, Switzerland won. Germany beaten by Mexico today. Costa Rica nil, Serbia won. And England start their World Cup campaign tomorrow night 7 o'clock kickoff UK time full commentary here on BBC Radio 5 Live Willian has the ball low ball into the penalty area Paulinho couldn't get it Coutinho again low drive block Coutinho on the volley the rebound's blocked again here's Casemiro gives it to Marcelo rolls it to Neymar Neymar onto his right foot drives it into the side netting and that took a deflection is behind for a corner and Neymar's taken a slight knock yeah I thought Marcelo May pull the trigger there, edge of the box. But he released Neymar, left-hand side near the byline, who cuts back in on his right foot, shimmies past Lichtensteiner. The referee's given a corner. Not so sure it was, but he looks to be in real pain. Yeah, he Neymar. does. 
Stamping that right foot into the ground. Coutinho with the corner. Drops dangerously in a six-yard box and Rodriguez is there and just sticks a leg out and knocks it behind for another corner. Gabriel Jesus was threatening. So the game has livened up. It's not, it's not raucous inside the Rostov uh, arena. Brazil won, Switzerland won. But the Brazilian fans seem to have been slightly sort of lifted from their torpor. They know this is not going to be a cruise in the second half. They've conceded a very poor goal at the start of the second half. Steven Zuba, free header four yards out. Brazil complained of a shove in the back on Miranda. Willian curls that corner into the area. Fabian Schaar heads it away for Switzerland. We're going to keep an eye on Neymar. Still not moving properly at the moment. Ball is crossed in. Thiago Silva jumps to win the header. Awkward for Rodriguez. On to a Kanji. Casemiro wins it on the right-hand side. Another ball in towards Paulinho. Hacked away. Willian goes running back and collects it for Brazil. Gives it to Marcelo. Just inside his own half. Just over half an hour of play in Rostov. And Brazil getting ready to make their first change of the game. 1-1. Fernandinho is going to come on. Brazil have won a free kick 10 yards into the Switzerland half. Next break in play, we'll go and get the latest on the final round of the US Open golf. Here's Marcelo. Marcelo plays it in field to Casemiro. Casemiro beats one man. Right footed shot is just too high and over the bar. So uh, let's check in at Shinnecock Hills, Ian Carter. Britain's Tommy Fleetwood on the charge. Four successive birdies now. He's just hold on the 15th from around 25 feet to move to two over par overall. Just one shot behind the leader, the defending champion Brooks Kepka. He's on the fifth at one over par. Thank you, Ian. Just over 40 minutes time. Ian Carter, Ollie Wilson, former Ryder Cup player, Andrew Cotter will pick up the commentary and take you all the way through. Tommy Fleetwood, how about a first major title for him? You'll hear it uh, throughout the night on BBC Radio 5 Live. England for you tomorrow night. Belgium, Panama kicks off at 4. Tunisia, England is at 7. Both games in full on 5 Live. Both games on BBC Television as well as Shakiri tries to find Seferovic. Uh, Brazil have managed to break that up. And here's Miranda inside his own penalty area. Marcelo's under a little bit of pressure there from Jemaili, finds Miranda, Miranda with a nice ball down the left-hand side to Coutinho, Shakiri's buzzing about everywhere at the moment, he's really up for it for Switzerland, stopped in his tracks by Fernandinho, but that's a foul. Worked hard off the ball, in the shop window, Shakiri with big clubs looking at him, he's a big tournament player for Switzerland, he's the player they look to, to be creative and do something a little bit special. Chris Sutton with us in the Rostov Arena as Switzerland have the ball. They've got their equaliser early in the second half. The video assistant referee will have had a look at the footage. That's one of the incidents, goals, that they will look at. They will have checked it. And if they don't feel there was anything amiss, they will either not even bother speaking to the referee or just tell him that is the case. And our referee, uh, the Mexican Cesar Ramos, uh, quite happy to go with the initial decision and give the goal. Brazil 1, Switzerland 1. Marcelo, Brazilian captain, slightly overhits that pass from left to right, and Danilo can't control it. And that's sloppy, that's out well, for a throw to Switzerland. They haven't got started in this second half. Brazil, since the goal, they've taken the foot off the gas. They really have. But you have to credit Switzerland. You know, I know some people were thinking this is going to be a walkover. They're ranked sixth in the world they lost one in 22 they're unbeaten in the last four World Cups first first Opening group game, yeah. game so you have to respect them Kelly Cage has given us some, some prawn shrimp updates <laughs> so we'll be getting into that in the next break in play as well Marcelo goes down and he stays down so we will get that break so this comes from Kelly for the attention of Alistair Bruce Ball. Prawns have claws on three of their five pairs of legs. Yep. Shrimps have claws on two of their five pairs of legs. Their gills and body shapes also differ. However, for yep. cooking and eating, they are interchangeable unless you have a size preference. Just a couple well, of emojis yeah, but there. The the, our issue was is Juliet Ferrington. We oh, yeah, really I forgot about them. that bit. I forgot about said that, that bit. That, said the difference was is that shrimps have two eyes inferring that prawns have one or three I yeah. mean if someone could explain that yeah, to yeah, me yeah. 
I think Kelly will be in touch. Oh, come on. Yeah, it was it was a disappointing <laughs> conversation. <laughs> um, I think we've well, all it was. we've all let ourselves down there. Uh, Shakiri giving the ball to Jamaili back to Shakiri. Switzerland really fancy this. I tell you now, Marcelo steps in to intercept. Switzerland have it back and. Xhaka slightly over hit the pass well, took a deflection out for a Swiss throw but what is interesting is Switzerland now really taking the initiative piling on the pressure but will that leave gaps then for Brazil to exploit Brazil won Switzerland won fascinating fourth day here at World Cup 2018 oh lovely flick from Neymar on the volley in mid-air round the corner Gabriel Jesus then just knew where Neymar was going to be try to back heel it into his path and there's Jesus quick as you like snapping into the challenge taking it off Xhaka who tried to block the next pass with his hand Coutinho not able to get onto that ball it's getting quite open now here 1-1 between Brazil and Switzerland Shakiri almost trips over the ball then plays it back into midfield Xhaka leaps in the air as he curls the ball out to Rodriguez goes for the early cross blocked by Willian and out for a Swiss throw Switzerland could win this well, they could. I mean, they've they've started. They've been brave in the second half. They've been brave on the ball. They're saying to Brazil, "We don't fear you. We really don't." They didn't do enough in terms of attacking, creating chances. Brazil will feel it's a soft way to let Switzerland get back into this game. But now it's Switzerland really putting the pressure on Brazil. Change coming up for Brazil. Just trying to look down, is that Renato Augusto getting ready possibly to come on uh, in midfield? Brazil 1, Switzerland 1. Coutinho gets on the ball just inside the Switzerland half. Fizzes a pass at Neymar, goes right past Fabian Schaar. That's a ridiculous shirt pull by Fabian yeah. Schaar. I mean, it's a yellow card. What was funny about that was it didn't stop Neymar. Neymar was still going, still going. But a definite yellow card free kick Brazil just outside the penalty area. Dancing feet from Neymar. Wonderful first touch with his left foot to lure. Char in. Goes past him. Char hanging on to him. An opportunity. 20, 23, 24 yards out. Left hand side of the box. Be interested to see who Renato Augusto is going to come on for as we wait for this free kick to the left hand side of the penalty area almost in line with that left edge of the box as uh, Brazil look at it Neymar and Marcelo are there I mean Neymar could try and whip this into the near post strike on goal maybe more likely looking for a cross to attack in the middle 25 minutes to play Brazil 1, Switzerland 1 Marcelo steps over it Neymar slightly scuffs that into the penalty area it goes it comes back to him controls it on his thigh rolls it down the line to Marcelo bit of pace from him cross into the near post headed away drops down Fernandinho on the right foot took a deflection and away for a corner yeah. didn't catch it properly Fernandinho wondered as it was dropping would he take it first time took a touch Correct to pass the post Brazil a little bit more urgency here Neymar into the near post ball headed right up in the air drops down on the penalty spot oh, Parami just throws his body in the way Willian drives one that's blocked as well Gabriel Jesus goes scampering away down the byline to collect it for Brazil plays it back to Willian lovely step over from Willian running across the face of the penalty left footed strike nowhere near as good as Coutinho's in the first half and balloons away and behind uh, for the goal kick that so that wasn't great was it from Neymar we've seen him strike them from that range but on his weaker left foot off balance Paulinho's coming off, Chris. Renato Augusto is coming on. That is pretty much like for like. Renato Augusto plays his club football in China. He used to play under Chi Chi at uh, Corinthians. And does a pretty similar job. Number eight on his back. So Paulinho has gone off. So we've got Fernandinho and Renato Augusto now with Felipe Coutinho continuing as well in the middle of the park for Brazil. And Switzerland are proving themselves a nuisance. They have a good record against Brazil overall. Only the second time they've ever met in the World Cup. But when they first did so, it was in Brazil. It was in 1950. Finished 2-2 and Switzerland twice. And it came from behind in the game. Neymar's been caught and Barami's been booked. And Switzerland are picking up a few yellows. Licksteiner, Schaar and Barami. Uh, now, Barami's doing a good job, though, for Switzerland, Chris. Yeah, he is a Neymar. 
rolling around on the floor but Barami's doing what he should do he's not letting Neymar get his head up and have time on the ball and letting him dictate he's done a good job but he has to be careful now that's persistent fouling Tim Burgess of the Charlatans has got in touch with Five Live this evening he says Shakiri seems good but would he be able to do it on a wet Wednesday in Stoke <laughs> <laughs> very good Stoke playing in the championship next season and you were looking up today Chris the comments he made towards the end of the season which actually concerned a Brazilian player didn't he, he said something like even Ronaldinho would, would struggle yep yeah, yeah. Stoke wouldn't stop even if they had Ronaldinho yeah no, he, he had said a point he said it's hard when you're surrounded by mediocrity uh, here's Renato Augusto for Brazil cross blocked on the right hand side Switzerland really believing themselves here early equaliser second half we've already seen Germany beaten by Mexico today are we going to see Brazil lose an opening World Cup game for the first time since 1934 it's 1-1 at the moment Neymar tries a clever first time ball which is well cut out by Licksteiner Neymar has it on the left hand side on his right foot curling ball to the far post Willian will attack it Rodriguez knew he was there powerful header away but Danilo will get to it first on the right Brazil in the bright yellow shirts blue shorts white socks attacking this goal away to our left hand side Barami in front of Neymar Neymar's ball to Coutinho chests it down and shoots wide good chance good chance what a pass from Neymar little shimmy 25-30 yards out right hand side of the box shifts it onto his left foot and it's weighted perfectly for Coutinho who takes it on his chest comes on his inside on his right foot and you think he just hit the target just hammer it on target I see 10 yards out and he slices it horribly past Sommer's left hand post BBC Radio 5 Live at the World Cup last game of day 4 Brazil 1 Switzerland 1 England into action tomorrow a World Cup breakfast from 6 o'clock live from Moscow Robbie Savage's World Cup breakfast half past 8 tomorrow Frank Lampard will be a guest full commentary on the game Tunisia England kicks off at 7 o'clock you can hear it here on BBC Radio 5 Live Valon Barami fourth World Cup 33 years old doing a fabulous job for Switzerland that is that for this evening Chris Sutton I'd really like you to have a look at this fellow who's coming on this is Denis Zakaria uh, who I watched play in both legs against Northern Ireland in the playoffs for Russia 2018 he's 21 years old hero is Patrick Vieira similar sort of lengthy rangy stride he was brilliant in both of those games yeah well and he's got big boots to fill tonight his Barami was fantastic at shackling Neymar he has to do the same Seferovic good lob ball forward here to Jamaili barges into Miranda now this one is given as a free kick strong challenge on Miranda Seferovic has gone down and stayed down and what's Stefan Lichsteiner got a problem with here he's hollering at the, the Swiss bench Seferovic with the ball forward might have been caught late there after the ball was played away yeah I think Vladimir Petkovic is unhappy about something well if there's a serious incident missed of foul play well he's had his foot trodden on I mean ok I, I can imagine well, that hurts but I don't think Pekovic has got to get his knickers in a twist about that has he well he takes it on his chest hooks it over his shoulder Ferdinand Dean oh, in his attempt to block the ball just stands on his foot yeah. mean, come on well come at on. least he's in the action Seferovic second half yeah, done a bit better for Switzerland. Right, we're into the last 20 minutes of the game. Brazil 1, Switzerland 1. I think Brazil getting ready to make a third and final change. And so far, Fernandinho and Renato Augusto have been called into action. Marcelo starts drifting forward into space. Mm, that's not a good ball. Floats it right onto the boot of Rodriguez. Clearance is blocked. And the free kick goes Switzerland's way. Handball, William, was it? And Switzerland are taking this quickly. Shakiri. Just nods it down to himself. Little opportunity for Switzerland here. Shakiri onto his left foot, plays it into Jamaili. Edge of the area shoots, but it's weak and it's straight at Allison in the Brazilian goal. Let's check in at the US Open golf, Ian Carter.
Tommy Fleetwood unable to make it uh, five birdies in a row at the par 5 16th missing from 12 feet so he remains at two over par with two holes to play Brooks Kepka, the defending champion is the man out in front at level par as he plays the six so two ahead of Fleetwood and only one ahead of the Masters champion Patrick Reed. he's just birdied the seventh that's his fifth birdie in the opening seven holes thank you Ian full commentary to come from nine o'clock here on five live Brazil putting together magical move at the moment Renato Augusto turns on the area little ball into Jesus good turn he's gone down referee has a look at it and I think he's saying no penalty he is and Gabriel Jesus stays on his back thinks he should have had a spot kick we will have a look on our replay monitor Chris Sutton have a look on your right here I'll concentrate on the action on the pitch this play is back underway oh, Fabian th Shaw doesn't like the challenge and what about the Jesus penalty shout I think that what happens is Akanji gets really tight Jesus uses his body as the ball's rolled into him is there enough contact there I don't think so I think that is the correct decision decision was made very quickly referee has to make the decision on the pitch first which he did VAR was all, will always look at a penalty incident and he probably got quick word in his ears but he got it right and they weren't recommending a review no penalty for Brazil Brazil won Switzerland won Marcelo into the path of Coutinho stabs it forward into the Swiss penalty area cleared Marcelo lets that run it's out for a Brazilian throw on the left hand side Roberto Firmino is getting ready to come on here uh, for Brazil yeah, you just sense now don't you Brazil putting the foot down Neymar's lost it but he's fouled apparently and Shakiri and Jumaili both disagree they double teamed in free kick taken that was silly from from Marcelo there he kicked it to Neymar he was complaining that Shakiri wasn't 10 yards Shakiri nicked the ball off Neymar and Switzerland have it back and Xhaka has got Rodriguez stretching away down the left hand side Thiago Silva comes across to cover for Brazil 15 minutes to play on BBC Radio 5 Live Brazil 1 Switzerland I'll tell you won. what fair play to Switzerland yep. they're still having a go they're not sitting in and saying we're going to take a point they want to win this game analysis on all today's games in the World Cup daily podcast which will be available for you to download tomorrow morning subscribe to it in your podcast app or just go to the World Cup page on the BBC Sports app England manager Gareth Southgate will feature on it of course England in action tomorrow night their game against Tunisia in Volgograd full commentary here on 5 Live BBC television have it as well and if you want the option the red button is there for you for TV pictures and commentary from John Murray and Chris Waddle our team uh, in Volgograd so Serbia topping this group at the moment they beat Croatia they beat Costa Rica 1-0 with a fantastic free kick from Alexander Kolarov Germany nil, Mexico 1 it's another scoreline today Seferovic goes running through tangles with Thiago Silva both of them got their legs in a tangle no free kick given either way Allison rolls the ball out Fernandinho uh, gives it to Willian Willian's on his way down the right stopped in his tracks advantage is played he stayed down and he's slightly hurt so Brazil down to 10 as they continue to move Coutinho to his left hand side Finds Marcelo. Lot of red shirts in front of him. Coutinho just jinks to his right. Zakaria's in front of him. Lines up for Fernandinho to hit one. Gets underneath it. Way over the bar. And behind for the goal kick. Yeah, it's half an opportunity, that is. Fernandinho allowed to take a touch. Well-weighted pass. Coutinho has a look. Takes a touch. And fires it high into the stand. Always a possibility, of course, when we were talking at the start of the day about winners of this group meeting runners-up of Germany's group, and that possibly meaning Brazil-Germany. Who knows, they might both end up runners-up. Marcelo, oh, that's clever. Chips the ball over Seferovic, picks it up the other side, gives it to Neymar. Neymar, Sicaria breathing down his neck. Neymar knew he was there. Marcelo turns 360 degrees, has the ball on the touchline on the left-hand side. Jamaili gets a, a block on the pass. Fabian Schaar clears it with his right foot. Firmino is still waiting to get on here for Brazil. He's ready now. The ball's with Marcelo on the left. Little flick inside to Neymar. Are we going to get something special here? He'll go for the shot. Sommer has it covered comfortably at the near post. Just slipped out of his grasp, but not too far, and grabs the rebound. A little bit of room for Neymar. He's a long way out, probably 30 yards. 
whips it, tries to catch Sommer out from his near post. Comfortable save for the goalkeeper. Gabriel Jesus will be the man coming off, but he's on the ball right now for Brazil, just outside the Swiss penalty area. Coutinho to Neymar. Neymar can't get the return pass there, and Switzerland have a chance to come away with it. 13 minutes to play. Are we going to get a Swiss win, as well as a Mexican win against Germany today? That really would be some day at Russia 2018. Zakaria gives it to Xhaka. Walking pace at the moment. Xhaka to Lichsteiner. It's going to be another change for Switzerland as well. Uh, Briel and Bolo. A Schalke striker getting ready to come on for them. But first it'll be Firmino. So here come the changes. 12 minutes to play. Brazil 1, Switzerland 1. Brazil in a hurry. Gabriel Jesus comes sprinting across the halfway line. Firmino comes on for him. And Briel and Bolo is waiting uh, to come on uh, for Switzerland. 21 years old, a lot of pace, slightly erratic and inconsistent, but could cause some problems in the last 10 minutes of the game. Here's Firmino's first touch of the game, skipping past Schar. Lichstein is there to stop him, cleared by Sommer with his right foot up towards the halfway line. Time running out for Brazil if they want the opening win. You could say exactly the same about Switzerland as well. I mean, Petkovic is putting a striker on here. Well, I, yeah, I think he'll take one off as well. Yeah, it'll be Seferovic, won't it? Yeah. I'm sure. Fernandinho gets on the ball in the centre circle. Chris Sutton with us here in Rostov-on-Don, or Daddy Rostov, uh, as it's known here in Russia. Free kick Brazil. There are two Rostovs, Chris, did you know that? Daddy Rostov and Rostov the Great. Yeah, well, well we, we both knew that. Oh, yeah. Free kick Brazil. Switzerland going to make a change. Quick. Let's just see if they're going to... Yeah, they're going to be able to do it now. Seferovic wants to take his time. Let's get to the US Open goal for the latest from Ian Carter. Hang on, I'm just wait. Yeah, no, he's coming off now. Come on, Ian. Let's have you. Tommy Fleetwood has just parred the 17th. He's found the fairway off the 18th tee. So he's at two over par. He's going to set the clubhouse lead here as it stands. He's one shot off the lead, jointly held now by Patrick Reed and Brooks Kepka because Kepka has just bogeyed the sixth. Fleetwood needs a par at the last to become the sixth player to make a 63 at the US Open. Wow. <laughs> Full commentary from 9 o'clock. I apologise for the abruptness. I didn't want to miss a key moment. Apologise to Ian, not to you, Chris, obviously. Uh, Seferovic got brought it off by the Swiss yeah. fans. Is that what you're laughing at? No, I'll tell you after this free kick. OK, free kick. Neymar for Brazil. Shah heads it straight up into the air for Switzerland. Ten minutes to play. It's 1-1. Thiago Silva jumps for it. Swiss player down. That's a head injury. Yeah, that's Licksteiner who's gone down. Well, the referee's got to stop this, surely. He's rolling around on the ground, holding his head. The Swiss players are saying to him, stop the game. He's now going to do that. What's tickled Chris Sutton in Rostov well, on Don? I mean, the, the fourth official has one job. He puts all his kit on. He goes, oh, just get the number right when you put it up on the board. He went from 10, then he went to 8, <laughs> and then he went to 9. Just put the right number up. Lichstein is back on his feet. Brazil 1, Switzerland 1. Ten minutes to play in Rostov on Don. Difficult. It's not difficult. No, Ali. No. One zero. Then eight. Yeah. It's nine. No, you're absolutely right, Chris. I'm not arguing with you on that one. Back underway. One one. Ball played forward. Or for Firmino to chase. Bounces down. And he drives it over the bar. Tight angle. It was a sweet strike. He just couldn't keep it down. Should he have squared it? Should he have squared it? It was a tired defending left-hand channel. Firmino gets the run. His wide, acute angle. I just wonder, had Neymar got across? He hammers it narrowly over the bar. How disappointed are Brazil going to be, Chris, if they draw 1-1? I mean, the result's not all that damaging. Two games to come against Costa Rica and Serbia. But in terms of the performance and taking their foot off the gas a little... Yeah, I think that uh, you know, it's not over yet, but you know, first game, wanted to make a statement in the World Cup. And a draw, the Brazil fans, I don't think that's good enough. But I don't think they would feel that's good enough. But I think Switzerland have deserved to get back into this game. Steven Zuber's early goal in the second half. Eight minutes plus added time to play on BBC Radio 5 Live here at the World Cup. Brazil won. 
Switzerland won in this Group E fixture. Serbia topping the group on three points. Next up for Brazil is Costa Rica in St. Petersburg on Friday. Switzerland will take on Serbia in Kaliningrad uh, on the same day. Zakaria, very deliberate right-footed pass out to the stocky little figure of Shakiri on the ball for Switzerland. Flicking one through the middle. Thiago Silva covers the run on the half volley, clears and out for a throw into Switzerland on the right-hand side. Time is ticking down in Rostov on Don. Marcelo's just hanging on to that ball. He wants Switzerland to get on with this. Lichstein is going to take his time. Switzerland, on the other hand, would obviously be delighted with a point from the opening fixture against Brazil. The way Brazil have come into this tournament, the way they've been playing. Neymar's tackled by Fabian Schaar. They might want more. Shakiri might fancy more here. Little ball turn around the corner. Shakiri trying to burst his way into the penalty area. He's going to get to that one first ahead of Danilo. Breel and Bolo is waiting in the middle. Shakiri has it. He's just rolling the ball under the studs of his left boot and then he goes for that elastico through the legs of Danilo. There is a giant red beach ball. Huge thing just bobbling gently across the Brazilian penalty area at the moment and no one seems to have spotted it. Well, you have. Well, I have, but Allison's the goalkeeper. His vision's got to be better than that, Chris. That not no, he's, he's got it now. He's got Did it now. Did that not happen at was a Sunderland yeah, Liverpool? Yeah, the beach ball, the famous beach ball. Darren Bent scored, didn't he? And Allison's done the decent thing there. He had to give it a real can-can high kick to get the foot high enough to stamp down on the balloon, which has popped. Six minutes to play. Brazil one, Switzerland one. Fabian Schaar defending in the right back position for Switzerland. One defeat in their last 22 games, and it came against Portugal in qualifying for this. Breel and Bolo on the ball for Switzerland, running into the Brazilian penalty area, taking on Miranda. Miranda too strong for him, and Bolo has a little hack at his legs there. And Miranda again too strong, gets the ball away to Marcelo. Really sloppy pass there. Rodriguez is able to intercept for Switzerland, heads it forward, but Brazil have it back with Willian. Yeah, this could go either way though. It's not like Brazil are pushing. Switzerland back and Switzerland aren't offering anything they're both going for it Firmino on to Neymar Neymar at pace up to the edge of the penalty area back to Firmino he couldn't quite control it with the first touch and he just got away from him before he could hit the shot Shakiri has the clearance at his feet dribbling inside his own half gives it to Granit Xhaka up towards Jamali nice touch and Bolo's got pace he's on the move through the middle Jamali decides to hold on to the ball for the moment into the last five minutes of the game I think we're going to get a winner, Chris. No answer. Neymar, little one-two. It's nice with Firmino. Another foul on Neymar. Free kick Brazil midway inside the Switzerland half. At time to bring in this stat. 14 fouls. That's 15 fouls so far against Brazil from Switzerland. Seven of those, 15, have been against Neymar. Well, you know, I don't know how many times I've said during this game you cannot let good players dictate and Switzerland have paid him close attention they've paid him respect it's the right thing to do Stefan Lichsteiner is down with cramp at the moment that's why you can hear the whistles and jeers from the Brazil fans it's going to be a Brazilian free kick when we get back underway which we will do shortly commentary on the final round of the US Open golf is on its way shortly Switzerland going to make a change Licksteiner coming off and let's have a very polite handover to Ian Carter at Shinnecock Hills Ian pray tell what is the latest kind of sir <laughs> well Tommy Fleetwood has just hit a wonderful six iron into the 18th he's got a putt of inside 10 feet for a record 62 which would set the clubhouse target at one over par he's two over at the moment the joint leaders are up one over two Americans Patrick Reed and Brooks Kepka, but Fleetwood with a birdie chance to come at the 18th back to you very shortly in free kick Brazil here in the Rostov Arena three and a half minutes of the 90 to play chipped in by Coutinho oh and it almost went all the way through and Sommer goes flying to his left it was bouncing wide of the goal yeah you had to watch that though Sommer whipped in right footed it was all the way through it was just going narrowly wide but Sommer not taking any chances Switzerland are giving the ball away silly thing to do Firmino's lost it though Coutinho gets there first chips it sideways to Willian on the right hand side three minutes to play Brazil 1 Switzerland 1 
Tommy Fleetwood with a putt for a 62 shortly at the US Open in the final round. Coutinho, wide right to Willian. Willian gets that cross into the penalty and Neymar with the header straight at Sommer and it's comfortably saved. Oh, Sommer time there, right at him. Neymar's got to score. Is he six yards out as that ball's whipped in? No, it's probably ten yards out. But anything either side of Sommer, he scores. Goes straight at the goalkeeper, big chance. Renato Augusto is brought down, three minutes to play. Brazil one, Switzerland one, here's one for you, Chris. Someone else getting in touch with us on social media. Why does Chris Sutton go into sergeant major mode at times of high energy on Five Live Sports? Because I'm excited. Exactly. Ali. Yes, sir, sergeant major, sir. Brazil one, Switzerland one. England tomorrow night on Five Live, 7 o'clock, kicks off in Volgograd against Tunisia. Frank Lampard is on Rugby Savage's World Cup breakfast tomorrow for you from half past eight. World Cup daily podcast will be ready for you tomorrow morning. Marcelo's ball into the edge of the penalty area. Oh, and now Switzerland break play up, and here they come on the break. 89th minute of the game. Are we going to get a really big story here in Rostov-on-Don? Shakiri with the optimistic shot. The ball wouldn't come down for him. Slices it wide and behind for the goal kick. Disappointing. The break was on. Shakiri tried to poke it. Poked it. And Bolo, as the ball sat, he's off balance. Sliced it horribly wide of Allison's goal. Brazil 1, Switzerland 1. Coutinho's... Stunner in the first half, ruled out by the Steven Zuba close-range header from the corner in the second half. That's where we're at, heading into the 90th minute of the game. Serbia 1-0 winners against Costa Rica today. Mexico with a fabulous 1-0 win over the defending champions, Germany. The man with the mop hair, Neymar, incredible, incredible haircut he's gone for at this World Cup. Bright peroxide Who yellow. are you? Who are you to judge <laughs> Neymar's haircut, Ali? <laughs> Oh dear. Neymar free kick left hand side. I'll leave it well alone. It does it does just look like a mop. I'm with you. He looks like a kitchen mop. <laughs> free kick. Plays a bit better than a kitchen mop, has to be said. Here he is. Neymar on the left with the free kick. Good delivery into the box. Headed down, Sommer saves. And the rebound, Fernandinho was there and he couldn't quite tuck it in. Crucial save from Jan Sommer. Low to his right hand side. Keeps it Brazil 1, Switzerland 1. He has made some big yeah. saves in the game. Soma loving there, wasn't it? Really good. Down to his right-hand side. Firmino. Anticipates. It's a good header. Firmino gets his neck muscles working. Powers it towards the far corner. Soma all over it. Soma loving. Dear, oh dear. Added time. End of the game. I think we've got five minutes. I didn't see the ball go up. I'm just seeing it disappear. Five minutes of added time. Brazil 1. Switzerland won. Seen some late goals already at this World Cup. Augusto's cross is blocked behind for a corner. Swiss change I didn't even mention, actually. Mikhail Lang of Basel has come on. His claim to fame this season was scoring against both Manchester clubs in the Champions League. Corner taken quickly. Marcelo's cross in, headed away. Drops down and driven wide by Miranda. I was sure that was going in the bottom corner. Another chance goes begging for Brazil. That was the chance... That was the chance. Injury time. The ball drops. Miranda takes a touch. Good first touch. And he chokes it. I tell you, only a yard wide of that right-hand post. We'll see 12, 14 yards out. Sommer rooted. Four minutes of added time remaining. BBC Radio 5 live. Brazil 1. Switzerland 1 Belgium Panama kicks off at 4 o'clock tomorrow Tunisia England at 7 o'clock both in full here on 5 Live both on BBC television as well Fabian Shah over hits his ball out of defence he's given the ball back to Brazil I'll tell you what though Serbia's result today the heat is on isn't it in this group yeah ball is fired into Thiago Silva still could have some late drama here though still got over 3 minutes to play Miranda, wide to Marcelo on the left-hand side. Back to Miranda again. Cross to Thiago Silva. Swiss players, those who've been out there for the full 90-plus, looking slightly jaded here. Willian isn't. 
Floats the diagonal ball all the way. Marcelo's got a chase on it. Skips away from him off the turf. He can't keep it in play. It's behind for the goal kick and the Swiss will take their time. What news of Tommy Fleetwood, Ian Carter? Tommy Fleetwood over this putt for birdie on the 18th here at Shinnecock Hills. It looks good. Oh, it just breaks away. It breaks away to the right, but Fleetwood will tap in from six inches for a round of 63. Only the sixth 63 in US Open history. And the Englishman sets the target here. Will it be good enough? It's two over par after a brilliant performance from Tommy Fleetwood. Thank you, Ian. We'll be with you in under 10 minutes' time. Full commentary on that final round of the US Open Golf here on Five Live. Tommy Fleetwood with a round of 63 at Shinnecock Hills is your clubhouse leader. Well worth a listen, that. Two minutes to go. Brazil won, Switzerland won. Switzerland win a free kick. Xhaka wants to go quickly, not allowed to. The ball was still rolling. Jamaili won the free kick, so we'll have to come back. Yeah, it would have been an interesting one. Had the referee allowed the play to go on. It's a good run from the forward. Jamali's done well, hasn't he? Free kick Switzerland men, fired wide by Xhaka. Marcelo stuck a hopeful leg in the air, it hit his boot, he brought it down, he's inside his own penalty area. Brazil, or Switzerland, have 90 seconds to try and find a winner. And I think we feel, Chris, don't we, Switzerland deserve the draw? Yep. If they get it. Neymar's fouled again, is he? No. Yes, he is. Referee took his time to make the decision. Free kick on the halfway line, Lang with the challenge. Yeah, I think Switzerland, they needed to respond. It was the perfect response. And Brazil put pressure on this last 10 minutes, but not enough in this second half. Oh, good pace from Neymar. Beats two men on the left-hand side. Are we going to get a late little bit of magic from the world's most expensive player? Zakaria goes thundering into the challenge. Free kick, 28 yards out. Perfect shooting position. The stage is set for Neymar. Well... You talked him up as the greatest showman. Here's your chance. Well, if it goes in, Chris, you're going to have to burst into song. <laughs> <laughs> no, we you, don't want that. You, you, you wouldn't want that. <laughs> 30 seconds to play. I'm sure Neymar's going to hit this. Coutinho with the wonder strike in the first half. This is what the World Cup's all about. Yeah. We saw Ronaldo do this for Portugal. Well, it's a long way out, Chris. Yeah, but this is the opportunity. It's everything you ever want. <laughs> It's everything you ever need. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. If you know your greatest showman, and lots of people will, they'll be all over that. Neymar with the free kick. Brazil won, Switzerland won. Five minutes of added time has been played. This is the last moment of the match. Is Neymar going to do it on the biggest stage of all? Taking a long time here. No, whistle blows. Referee spotted something on the edge of the area he doesn't like. Jan Sommer waits on his goal line. Neymar versus Sommer. There's the whistle. Here comes Neymar. Brazil's number 10. Oh, he floats it into the area. It's headed up in the air. Might drop down here. Renato Augusto, the shot's blocked. Ball spins away. Miranda will chase it. Clever from Neymar. Dummied the shot. Augusto hit that volley well. And it was That's well blocked. In. That's going in from <laughs> Sharp. Augusto, as the ball dropped. Well, four yards out, left-hand side of the goal. I think that's going in. It hit sharp. Brilliant defending. Almost played six minutes of added time. Brazil one, Switzerland one. Corner from Willian. Curled into the area, headed away. And the referee says free kick. He doesn't say full-time. Free kick, Switzerland. But I'm sure that's that. The Swiss are going to get a point. Well, and sharp. He's a star there. Really is that's creeping in if it's not creeping in there's a, a couple of Brazilians at the far post who would score with these how important was that block from Sharp all over the Swiss celebrate in the Rostov arena they have held Brazil to a 1-1 draw in this game in Group E Neymar head down goes trudging off the pitch I wouldn't quite say in disgust, but certainly in disappointment. Brazil took the lead, clicking into the gears in the first half. Wonderful goal from Coutinho. They conceded a sloppy one, Chris Sutton, from the set piece. But actually, they never really got the, the tempo back until really late in the game. No, and, but all the talk, 
all the talk before the game. Brazil, Brazil, Brazil. There was another team here tonight and Switzerland and they were underestimated by many but credit to them. They dug deep in terms of uh, attacking in the first half. They offered very little. Brazil deservedly in front but what a response. Soft goal, it might have been but Switzerland, they were a threat in the second half. They went toe-to-toe -to -toe at the end. That block from Charles Sommer, a couple of big saves. But I think Switzerland deserved the point. What have we learned from the World Cup so far? You cannot underestimate any team. Well, in terms of the World Cup and the games to come, and the second group games in particular, Brazil, Germany, Argentina and Spain have all failed to win their opening games and it just puts that little bit of pressure on full credit to Switzerland here 1-0 down to the Coutinho stunner Steven Zuber what a moment for him the Hoffenheim player with the equaliser and that's how it's finished in Rostov on Don Brazil won Switzerland won and we didn't even get Chris Sutton's brilliant statistic out Kelly about vegetable oil in the game that's how good the second half was